Well, thank you, Aaron. It's a pleasure to be here, and thanks everybody for joining us. While Dan was inventing the wheel and Aaron was installing POP3 servers, I was also getting my start in the MSP world, and after 18 years of learning a little bit um, along the way, I'm happy to be here sharing some of that knowledge uh, in reverse, in retrospect, to try and help our now partners succeed with our products. So I want to get into this challenge of backup monitoring because this is a real issue and it's becoming more and more prevalent. And it's that MSPs are responsible for managing and protecting clients' number one resource, and that's their data. The reality is that clients just have zero tolerance for data loss. And internally for the MSP, visibility and confidence in the state of these backups is absolutely non-negotiable. Add to that the complexity that is managing multiple backup sources. As MSPs grow, this problem compounds. Now you bring on another MSP that has a different platform altogether, or you ingest a client that has a different backup platform altogether. Now you have to consolidate all this reporting and visibility, and this is becoming a challenge as well. Now, most important of all, I think, is that compliance and governance and risk management are starting to drive a lot of the transparency, clarity, and accountability that's required in the backup arena so that MSPs really have to start paying attention to this a lot more closely. Now, let's talk about a typical backup radar partner here because what we see is that on a daily basis, roughly 12% of backup jobs are failing. Now, this is a whopping 170,000 plus backup jobs daily that are failing. And this is potentially not even including the things that you don't even know about. Uh, for example, if Synology or QNAP boxes you might have out there in the field doing a local server backup or something of that nature. And so this is what we refer to as no results. No results is this challenge of that you have a device that sends its own email to give you a report or notification, but it can't. The device has stalled, the internet's out, and how would you know that that device is no longer backing up? Well, you have engineers monitoring a shared in inbox every morning for three hours. They're not going to tell you if something didn't arrive. They just don't know. Again, you don't know what you don't know in this situation. But this is where backup radar really shines. We take and ingest monitoring reports from 300 plus backup applications, whether it's by email or API. We parse and ingest all this information to give you clear dashboards, visibility, and reporting across all your backup sources. On top of that, we take the PSA, we manage your tickets, we group the issues together, we'll auto-close issues as well, helping lower that noise floor on tickets, ultimately driving efficiency and removing those three hours of daily backup checks that you're doing in the mornings, because honestly, who wants to do that? And so Lifecycle Manager on top of that will present backup insights inside of the platform so that your VCIOs, account managers, or any person having a strategic conversation with your clients has the insight necessary to not miss that conversation that's so important. The reality is that a single incident of a lost data for a client is going to result in a contract cancellation, and this is just too much risk. Now, um, emerging MSPs, what do you have to be thinking about? Absolutely be documenting what you're doing for your backups for all your clients. One of the challenges that we have as we grow organically is that we do different things for different clients and we're taking any client that we can get. And so over time, you're starting to manage a number of different scenarios, different RTOs, RPOs, or retention policies. You want to start bringing that in line. So the best place to start is to document that. Of course, automate as much of the basic processes as possible possible. That includes ticketing and reporting and sending out the regularly scheduled reports. This is just a place where a lot of time is spent unnecessarily. Lastly, um, that implementation of uh, reporting and visibility is going to be super empowering for your team internally because you want to start to democratize this visibility of backups. Everybody should be able to contribute or alert internally when there's an issue around backups. As you get growing, you definitely want to double down on your backup process altogether, the management of everything that related to RTO, RPO, and uh, retention policies, and your documentation, of course. And you want to start to deploy this consistently to all your clients, reducing a bit of those exceptions that you're trying to do uh, for some of the clients that are outside of your norms. And then lastly, as you're scaling, of course, you're going to ensure all backup reporting is truly unified, no matter the backup source. Implement that continuous improvement uh, process internally to ensure that all your clients are following the standard. And of course, incorporate all these backup practices into your compliance, which I'm sure you're also starting to drive as part of your growth and your scale. So that's a little bit about Backup Radar. Um, we have the team standing by. Send us a note. Just say Backup Radar demo in the chat, and the team will reach out to make sure you get the, the kind of demo that you want to see. Uh, this is a technician-friendly product, of course, and it's going to save you a ton of time.